Yellowstone National Park. It's one of the hottest camping and RV destinations in America and for good reason. It is absolutely beautiful and there are things that you can see inside of Yellowstone that you cannot see anywhere else in the world. But with all good things also come some disadvantages and today we're talking about five reasons why you might want to avoid Yellowstone National Park in 2021 so stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me here today. I'm Kyle. This is Driving and Vibing. Today it's all about reasons not to visit Yellowstone National Park. Now let me say off the top, I love Yellowstone. I think anyone who wants to go to Yellowstone and has their heart set on it, go ahead and turn this video off and go to Yellowstone National Park. It is worth a visit. But if Yellowstone is just one of many destinations that's on your list of potential places to visit this year, you might want to watch the rest of this video to see why we don't think 2021 is the best time to visit this national park. So without any further ado, let's hop into the list. Number one, massive crowds. We visited Yellowstone National Park about two and a half years ago. And back then the crowds were huge. Around Old Faithful Geyser, there were probably four or 500 people there really disconnecting us from that nature experience. And with RVing and camping being more popular than ever this year, I think that the crowds are going to be even worse in Yellowstone. I mean, everyone's feeling that bug to get out and travel, vaccines have coming out, people are getting out and exploring this year. My only hesitation is that I don't necessarily want to go where every single other person's going to go and Yellowstone is going to be one of those places. You are bound to see massive crowds there. Reason number two, building off of that one, is that traffic is awful in Yellowstone. You're going to be driving through the park and you might think you're in like New York City because the lines that you'll be waiting in in your vehicle can last up to an hour easily. Now, most of the roads through Yellowstone are like two lanes, one lane going either way. And it makes a lot of sense because it's a national park. We don't want to like plow through four, six lanes there. Makes sense. But with that comes huge traffic jams. Yellowstone is a big park to begin with. You're going to have to drive from, from one feature to another. It, whether you want to go hiking or seeing the prismatic pools or seeing the geyser, you're going to have to drive to get there. Everyone's going to be driving. This means you're going to be waiting in lines. On our last trip there, it felt like we were in line at Disney World to go see these natural features, you know? And it was super discouraging because I like going to a national park to be out there in nature and exploring, not to be cooped up in my car or waiting to get a parking spot for an hour. And that is no exaggeration. It could have been longer than an hour. So just know that this year with traveling, coming back into action and so many more RVers and campers out there, the traffic's going to be bad in Yellowstone. The next reason is aggressive wildlife. Now, this kind of has like a both sides of the coin aspect to it. The wildlife isn't necessarily uh, super aggressive or out to get you as a tourist, but you have to know how to interact with this wildlife. And by how to interact, I mean not interact at all. These wild animals, bison, wolves, whatever they are going to be out there, they are in their natural environment and you're not part of that. So whenever you go see these animals in nature, you're not going to want to go up and pet them or feed them or interact with them in any way because year after year, we see reports of people being attacked by bison at Yellowstone. And it is ludicrous that this happens so often. This little girl and her family were doing what so many families do during the summer, visiting Yellowstone National Park. They were part of a bigger group that had been standing near that bison for some 20 minutes with no issue when out of nowhere, the bison came running. But tourists think they're in Disneyland and it's some sort of place where everything's safe. But you're out in nature and you have to be respectful of nature. So if you're gonna be traveling to people who you think won't be able to handle being around wildlife, you might wanna to go to another national park that doesn't have such large wildlife like bison um, because it can be a problem every year. It proves to be a problem. Next up on our list of reasons not to visit Yellowstone is that there are very dangerous geothermal features. This is the beauty of the park. These features are absolutely breathtaking and beautiful. 
and I would recommend anyone go see them because they're just amazing. But the fact is that if you have young children that are gonna be running around, to see these features, you have to walk on boardwalks that sometimes don't have rails or definitely not like very secure rails. And if someone falls into these geothermal features, it will be a bad situation with likely death. And it happens all the time. Every year there are reports of these accidents in Yellowstone. The two scenarios where I would think it would give you reason enough not to visit is again, if you have young children that might be running around and you don't want to have to be carrying around all day or in a stroller, then you might wanna wait till they get just a little bit older to visit Yellowstone. Or if you're just with a bunch of foolish, um, you know, what should we say, high schoolers or maybe college kids that are just roughhousing and, uh, you know, you can't be acting crazy around these features because people do slip in. You got to be careful of that. Take into consideration who you're traveling with and if being around those features will be the right decision for you. And the last reason why not to visit Yellowstone is um more of a silly reason but i guess if you have a fear of super volcanoes you might not want to visit because at the end of the day yellowstone is a super volcano one day it will erupt and if you don't want to be there when it erupts or you have some sort of paranoia about the super volcanoes then you just might want to skip yellowstone altogether because it's a volcano that's why it's so beautiful but we'll see it erupt one day and when it erupts it will affect you know a large portion of the globe so it doesn't necessarily matter if you're right there or not those are the five reasons to avoid yellowstone national park and the most serious of the five which truly would deter me from going this year would be the massive crowds and the traffic jams that will be in place because of those crowds it does make it not enjoyable for me to go to a national park there are plenty of national parks where crowds and traffic jams won't be an issue otherwise you know the geothermal features and the bison or the animal attacks well just don't travel with foolish people and you should be okay as far as that goes thanks for watching the video let me know what you think in the comments and we'll see you next time later on